Oh my gosh, I have wanted to go here my entire life. <laughs> it's definitely been a country that we've heard so many great things about as well, so here we go. Oh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> about when we arrive in Kathmandu this time. We have airport pickup and drop off service included with our Everest Space Camp truck. So when we get there, someone's gonna be waiting with a sign with our names on it, which has never happened. That's kinda cool. And I kinda feel really legit. All right, we're risking it. We booked D and F. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. This is empty. We're so good. based on the amount of time you stay. It's either 15 day, 30 day, or 90 day. For the 30 day, which fits our schedule, it's 40 bucks a pop. So we just waited in line for those. And now we're gonna go find our driver. We have a driver. <laughs> We've never had a driver. <laughs> we paid for this driver though. Sure did. <laughs> from Kathmandu. <laughs> Today we are getting picked up at 11 a.m. by our trekking company to give us a little bit of a briefing. They provide an 80 liter backpack so that the two of us can put our gear in there for the porter. We receive down jackets for the both of us because temperatures are about to drop <laughs> and we also get a four season sleeping bag as well. So very thankful that our trekking company provides those three things because as you know we've been traveling through some really warm countries and we are definitely not prepared for this the next few days are going to be spent shopping and figuring out exactly what we need so that we don't freeze our butts off totally. for 11 days <laughs> sure we have the basics we have some thermal layers of pants and tops we have sweatpants we have rain layers we have ponchos but what we don't have is good shoes. You really have to look at reviews. A lot of shops, yeah, they rent out shoes, but some of the brands are fake. You never know. So you have to look for credible stores. And we wanna rent because we don't wanna spend a bunch of money on stuff that we're gonna then have to throw away because truth be told, we don't have room for anything else. We don't even have room for another pair of socks, let alone no. another pair of hiking boots. So we're gonna <laughs> rent and we're just gonna have to walk around town, see what it's all about, and hopefully get some shoes, some good pants, some poles. So we'll go see what prices are. It's gonna be interesting. <laughs>
the head back and organize. We just got back from our briefing with Unique Adventure and we got to meet the owner of the company. His name is Coom. He has been in the tourism business for so long, so I know that we are in good hands. <laughs> they gave us just a quick understanding of like what we need to do to be prepped before we even get there, what time we're gonna be picked up, all of those logistics. So, he wanted to make sure that we're good on our gear, all of that fun stuff, which we'll be shopping for. Another big thing that he mentioned is travel insurance. So we're good, we use a company called World Nomads, which with the specific insurance we paid into, they insure us up to the elevation that we will be trekking to, so mm -hmm. that's good, we're all set. Um, but we just needed to exchange information with him, so in case we need to reach out and be helicoptered away, that is not gonna happen. But, worst case scenario, we're covered. Yeah. <laughs> so someone will be here at our hotel to pick us up at 4.50 a.m. They will take us to Kathmandu Airport. And one thing that surprised me is that we are flying alone to Lukla. So what that means <laughs> is we're on a tiny little plane. Are we alone on the plane? No. But we don't even meet our guide until we're into the Himalayas. So the second we're dropped off at that airport, until we get there, we're by ourselves, which, okay, we've traveled everywhere, that's fine, but it just, <laughs> it, I guess it was only surprising because we thought our guide would be going with us, but you don't even meet him until you get there. It's like, it makes sense. This guy lives, lives there. there. So it totally makes sense, but I don't know why I was thinking that we would just have someone holding our hands the entire way. <laughs> so, we don't. And once we leave at 6.15, we have a 30 minute flight to Lukla. It's supposed to be one of the most beautiful plane rides you'll ever see in your entire life and one of the most terrifying landings you'll ever experience in your life. So it's gonna be a, an adrenaline rush before we even get there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this tour has been nice because so much of it is already laid out. We really didn't have a lot of questions. The one thing that we naturally are a little bit concerned about is food. Without even asking, Coom told us if we can avoid it, he said avoid the meat. It just is not taken care of up there, it's mm -hmm. not refrigerated, and he said this is a good week to be a vegetarian. <laughs> and then last but not least is water. So we have our own purification tablets, knowing that there are some places in Nepal that sell fake tablets. That's just the reality. So we made sure we got real ones. We asked him about it. He said that he recommends buying purified water bottles as you go up. I don't know how expensive that gets. I'm, I, I know it gets more expensive as you go up the mountain. So we're gonna try and rely on our tablets, but if that doesn't work for us, then we're gonna just be buying water bottles the whole way. Other than that, we are as ready to go as you can be. <laughs> All right, we got our bags. The max amount that your porter can carry is 20 kilograms. 10 which per person. is not a lot. We decided to pay for a porter because one, we're out of shape, and two, we've had backpacks on for so many weeks that we're gonna pay to have a break. And three, it helps the economy. We just gave this guy a job for 11 days. Yeah, at first, you know, it sounds like, wow, you're making someone carry 20 kilograms all the way up to 18,000 feet. That sounds horrible, but it actually adds to the economy. It gives them a job. They're actually happy to do it. And the way that the system works is for several years, you have to be a porter. And then from there, you get promoted to be a guide. And then the man that just helped us at our operator, he was a guide for 21 years and now he owns his own tourist business. So <laughs> it's all part of moving up in the game. So it's actually a good thing, which we're happy about. Yeah. So they give you this 80 liter waterproof bag. So you don't have to worry about a rain fly or anything for your overnight gear. Now let's see what we got. A large jacket in case you get to the top and it's 
so, so miserably cold. It's actually really so nice. So it's a really heavy duty down jacket and sleeping bags. How do they, they it kind of smells like earth. <laughs> so it is a mummy bag, which is gonna be necessary. We are staying in tea houses. So yes, we're gonna be sleeping in a bed, but it gets so cold at night that not only do you wear all of your clothes from the day, then you go in your mummy bag and then you pull the blankets over. So yeah, there's no heating or like insulation in the tea houses. So it's definitely kind of, I don't know, gonna be cold. And I've heard also, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I've heard also that there's only heating with the fire that's in the main like dining area. So everyone hangs out there in the evening, but then you go to your bedroom at night and it's like, whoo. We'll find out. But next, we need to get some good pants and some good hiking boots. Poles. 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 <laughs> The problem is they only rent out jackets and sleeping bags, which we already have. So now we're going a couple minutes down the road to a place that apparently has boots. So, wind pants, yes. Boots, maybe. maybe. These are for me, oh, red or me. <laughs> Trying to steal my pants. I don't know if I can fit in these ones. It's so Too <laughs> tiny. Small. All right, we've got some success with the pants. Tay's wearing blue and I'm wearing red. And they're both North Face. <laughs> it was a joke. <laughs> it's you. Yeah, this is my shoes. So I'm gonna have How's it feel? So far, so good. Comfortable. The jewelry is mine, but I know we're taking now. Oh, there you go. <laughs> How those feel? Like sticks. <laughs> <laughs> Found some shoes. Size nine. I went a little tiny, which makes me nervous, but it should be okay. Got everything we need. This guy right here is the best salesman in all of Kathmandu. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I have to sit it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you. All right. We're good. Let's go. <laughs> See you when we return. Okay. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> Everyone go to Nepal Trekkers Equipment Service. So another thing you don't think of is all of the other things you need, aside from dressing warmly, like toilet paper. They say to bring your own because a lot of guest houses don't have any, or if you need to just go on the go, you're prepared. Vitamin C, snacks. Carmelos. Oh, yum. <laughs> lotion or menthol? Oh, oh lotion. lotion. You need tissues. We already have baby wipes and a couple of other medicines. The baby wipes we're gonna use as a shower for the days that we don't have a shower. Medicine for headaches. We get stuffy noses and the altitude messes with us, but 
Other than that, we just kind of need some snacks because we're going to get bored. This isn't a snack, this is for right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, we good? And just like that, we're all done. Two pairs of not real North Face gloves. I'm feeling confident. I'm feeling broke, but I'm feeling confident we're gonna be warm. We are done with our little shopping spree in Tamel. I will say it's quite an overwhelming process. Go in knowing exactly what you need and be ready to settle quickly unless you wanna spend days shopping for what you need. So in total, between what we purchased and rented in Tamel, we got two water bottles, two pairs of gloves, two pairs of pants, two pairs of hiking boots, and one set of hiking poles, and the total came out to be $85 combined.